So, here we are. Um, in my study, I've set up a few lights to make this look like one of those rooms that those YouTubers have. Anyway, this is a me at home a month after recording a video in Hong Kong, or two videos in Hong Kong, the first of which is about to happen. I'm going to give you a little disclaimer that for the first five, four or five minutes of this video, there's a lot of heavy breathing and walking up hills, so I hope you can handle that. There's some nice shots of Hong Kong, which I suggest, you know, I think you should hold out for and, and give them a watch. And at the end, I'll come back here and talk a little bit about some of the kit I'm testing, which is my new A7S III and suite of lenses, uh, and also my bag and my tripod, some of the pros and cons of those pieces of kit, which when going out, walking and hiking, definitely changes your experience. You'll hear me complaining in the video about them or giving them a good rep. Uh, and then at the end, I'll go into a little bit more detail about those things. So I hope you enjoy. Starts off in the dark, approximately 5 a.m. Uh, when I become, I think I come face to face with some wild boar. Um, yeah, take a look. Pigs are in the forest. I see that eye shine every now and then. There. That's wild boar, basically. Your vision. Wild pig. I think uh, spooky is a bit of an understatement right now. The street lights ended a little while ago. All right, everybody, I should probably tell you what's going on here. Um, I'm currently in Hong Kong and uh, I'm doing a hike nice and early in the morning, trying to get to the top of a mountain called Mat On Shan by sunrise. Now, this probably isn't going to happen because I got up too late, uh, but there we are. Oh, 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 what was that? I'm going to try and get to the top by sunrise. I've gone from Sai Kung. 75% uh, of Hong Kong is actually countryside and the city that everybody knows is just 25% of the area. That's my little fact. I've been inside for basically the last week. I had COVID for about three or four days of that. Here we go. We're going to start going up. So I'm going to put my camera away. Okay, let's go. Up we go. See you shortly. Oh, why we went over 10 looks like Fever dream. Oh Christ on a This is hard. But I've just started going down again. It's just going all the way up and now back down again and I'm just gonna have to climb it. Oh, it's rising. Oh, come on, get some height. Oh, oh my god. It's literally rising right now. Okay, look at this. Oh, oh my eyes are hold on. Super nice now. This is on a wide angle. I mean, that is steep. Oh my God. You see how rocky? You just gotta not trip on this stuff. Slip. 
yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. Oh boy, oh boy. Hell. Oh. Firstly, sorry about the wind noise. Uh, I don't have my lab mics with me. I've only got the ambient mic. Also apologies for the horrendous COVID face, bad skin, beard, grossness. I wanted to go and get a haircut in the local town and obviously you can't when you have COVID. We're at the top of Mount Shan, a really hard walk actually, uh, cause mainly because of the pack and the last bit was really a scramble. It was really just kind of uh, you know, bits on all, all four. With the bag on your back, you've got to be very aware about your centre of gravity is a lot higher, so you're more prone to, to tipping. That is noticeable. The camera, the A7S III, although it's a small body, the uh, lenses uh, that go with it on a full frame sensor are big. The tripod I've got, the head, I've got, even though it's carbon fibre, the head of the tripod is very heavy, which is good, but the head itself is a couple of kilograms. It's hard work after a while. You're really pushing up on your on your legs to get that bag up the hill, but it's great practice. Uh, and I want to do a lot more of this kind of thing in 2023. I didn't get to see the sunrise from the top. Uh, so another note, if you're ever going to do this kind of thing, don't time it up till sunrise. Uh, time it, time it half an hour before sunrise, because as I was walking up, half the really amazing beautiful light is before the sun actually comes up you get the whole spectrum above the horizon and everything's just starting to glow so why am i filming like this I, I, i'm just like blinding myself all of this is hong kong all of this uh mountains that i'm going to show you in these clips it's all hong kong it's all jungle scrubby jungle countryside uh, there's rivers there's creeks there's the reservoir there's beaches you know loads of beaches i haven't even properly seen the beaches the day after tomorrow, I'm going to meet up with a photographer, um, Daphne, who used to live in Bristol. So we're going to go and do some photography. So maybe I'll see if she wants to do a vlog. <laughs> she might not. Oh, it's good. Feels good to be hiking. Oh, you forget how good it is until you do it. Every time I get up for sunrise, every time I go for a hike, I'm like, yeah, it's hard for the first 20 minutes half an hour and if you're hiking like that it's hard work but it's always you get there and you're like yes this is why like why why am i not doing this all the time ramble over i'm gonna have my marmalade sandwich a coffee drink of water and then i'm gonna go back down the mountain i started in sai Kung. i went uh up the hill up the hill on the Macklehose trail came up to the top of the mountain and then to actually get to the summit you have to turn and go up to the top and I'm going to have to go back on myself to go back to that point and then make it round in a loop across the ridge a little bit down there and then back down into the other side of Psycho. That's the plan. So I'm probably about the halfway point in a bit. Transition. Ooh. Treacherous. <laughs> that's, that's a long way down. That's a long fall. We don't want any of that. And I've got to be careful going forwards down here. Good. A good challenge. All the way up there. Oof. Okay, so now I'm walking the ridge, um, which is a heck of a lot easier than scrambling up that thing, Ma and Shan, behind me. 
can enjoy the views a bit more without risk of plummeting to my death. Although I haven't filmed a lot of the wildlife because it's either been pitch black or I've been running behind schedule. It's, uh, there is a good amount of wildlife out here, that's for sure. And uh, literally haven't seen a single other person. I guess that's what happens when you do this on a weekday and you come for sunrise. Uh, look at that. If the uh, quality of this vlog is a little lower than maybe what I've produced before, it's for a mixture of reasons. I don't have the correct microphone. I didn't bring it with me. Secondly, it's the first time I've vlogged with this camera because this is, as I say, it's all a bit of a test. I've got my new backpack on. I've got all my lenses. Hard work on this camera up there, isn't it? Blimey heck. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's not physics, isn't it? God, it's holy moly. That's that coming down there. And uh, just look at this. You know the birds, maybe. Mountains. There's another massive, massive hill I have to climb. Uh, look at that. Second trig of the day. Ah, pyramid. Pyramid Hill. And this one is 537 meters. love these bamboo forests that exist here. They're so cool. Just tunnels like this. Tunnels and tunnels of bamboo. I mean this isn't the right way but how cool is that? Going back down into the town now. I didn't really record much of going back down from the top to here because when you're going downhill you're just kind of <laughs> trying to protect your knees because it's like takes it takes hits on the knees I've had some thoughts about my gear about this little test which I will talk about at the end of the video uh, when I'm back um, for now put my mask back on because we're coming back into a populated area that's how it is here and then I'm gonna continue heading back down to cycle round and back in and that's it so I'll talk to you when I'm back I think it's safe to say that the walk up Maran Shan was pretty tiring. It is meant to be quite a hard walk, but uh, I really wanted to just test out that gear, uh, get my hands around vlogging on the A7S III, the lenses, and, and feel the weight of it all, uh, as well as the tripod. The thing that stuck out to me that was the most annoying and the most difficult on that walk um, was the tripod. Uh, I've got these uh, big, carbon fiber legs by a random company called Inoral and they're, they're great for most stuff uh, but the size of them and also the size of the Manfrotto head was just too much to carry. Um, they hung over the bottom of the bag significantly which meant that when I was going up and down the hill uh, the, the, the back of the tripod legs actually caught as I was going down and sometimes they jolted me off balance which could be pretty dangerous so the first thing from that setup I would remove is the tripod and I go for a small travel tripod in fact I'm looking for one right now I will probably do a bigger comparison video at some point if people are interested in that kind of thing later on the a7s3 versus the gh5 two cameras i love uh, but definitely have their differences it's a really beautiful camera and i think from what you could see in that video i was t trying a little bit of different grading and different colors and the thing that sticks out to me the most, the difference between that and the GH5, which is what I'm filming on now, is the ability to push the colors a little bit further and the information and detail in the image. Of course, I wanted to bring my 200 to 600 lens and it was useful at the top. All in all, when you add that up with the large Tamron lens, with everything else, it was a lot of weight to carry around. 
my answer is not necessarily to cut down too much but just do it more often and get fitness up to scratch but it is hard work particularly on your shoulders i will mention how good the the bag was which was a shimoda x 50 shimoda action x 50 bag and really fantastic it has been solid since i got it about six months ago so again individual review on that maybe another time once i've used it a bit more i think it's really important to use these things properly before you start reviewing them but i think that's the lot um i did meet up with daphne in the end so that will be the next episode uh i'll be editing that soon anyway um off we go um time to get back to some real life work they are just chilling Hope they go on slow. Don't want to mess with them. <laughs>